here is my ambitious project to try and heat my mini greenhouse from my compost in the winter time and it's going to be solar powered 100 green energy so hope you enjoy it I'm going to cover this, these with plastic. Okay. Here's some of the plastic that I cut up from some old compost bags. Now let me show you what happened the other night or the other day is that we had some very strong winds gale force winds up to about 60 miles per hour and it ripped off this lid and so i've got to fix it i'm going to fix it now actually and it's ripped the screws out from the two the two stakes in there the wind was strong enough to blow my cocoon chair over as well and had it not been for the fact that i had uh, staple gunned the plastic to the lid this would have been flying in the air so today I'm going to fix that put these screws back in I'm also going to strengthen the this compost bin a, a little bit I'm going to put some extra beams across the front so it's a little bit stronger it's a lot stronger I can't see that being ripped off unless we have a tornado and it will take the whole thing with it so More plastic is needed.
Now I've double insulated this compost bin with plastic on the outside and on the inside with an air gap in the middle. And I also added bubble wrap inside the lid. And the reason for all this extra insulation is because I want to try and generate heat from my compost bin during the winter time to keep my greenhouse plants protected from any frost. I also screwed a couple of hooks into the fence to keep the lid upright when it's in the open position because it's a heavy lid and I really didn't want it crashing down on me when I'm inside turning over the compost. And finally, I completed the compost bin, which is huge compared to my original compost bin, in fact, just over four times the size. So this has a fair chance of producing heat during the winter time. So the next stage was to complete the heat exchange system. And I decided to use the same components that I previously used on my earlier how to heat water from compost video. And you can check that video on my channel and it's still getting lots of views as well. But instead of using a hand pump to circulate the water around from a compost bin, I'm going to use a low voltage USB powered pump. And I'm testing it out in my bathtub with this Anker USB power bank, which is very good by the way. And I'll leave a link to all these products in the video description below. That's doing it. Yeah, so you can see some bubbles coming through here. There you go, see those bubbles. So there's, sort of, there's a few bubbles, air bubbles in the system and it's sucking those out. It's sucking it through the pipe, the copper pipe, all the way and out. And that is fantastic because I didn't think it was powerful enough to do that. But what all I needed to do was just prime the tubing first and get all the air bubbles out. And when you do that, it's so much easier for, for the flow. There's so much less restriction. So that is fantastic because that is just, that is enough to circulate all the water from my compost bin to my greenhouse and back. So here is the heat exchange system. It's quite simple. It consists of a five litre container of water, which will be positioned in the middle of the compost bin and should be warmed up by the activity of the compost. And then that warm water will be pumped around the plastic tubing to the copper tubing, which will act as the radiator and that will be positioned in the greenhouse. So the next stage of this project was to see if I could power it with a solar panel because I want to use 100% green energy for this project. And I did indeed have a spare solar panel for my solar power fountain kit, which I bought a couple of years ago for my container pond. I can see some flow already. It's just getting the air out. And there you go. Look at that. I'm more than happy with that. So this is the system and I'm going to use this hand pump to prime the system and get all the water circulating and all the air out before I connect the solar panel. Connect this side. Oh, here it comes. It might be okay actually. So if I do that now.
Okay, now let's connect the solar panel. And there you go, there's flow already. There is flow. I don't know if you can see that in the tubes there, there is flow. Yes, there, you can see those bubbles. You see those bubbles coming through? Like a train of bubbles. And that is proof that it is working and it's going to force those bubbles eventually. Is it going to do it? I think so. It's making a gurgling noise. So the next stage of this compost heated greenhouse project was to install the heat exchange system into the compost bin and my greenhouse. And I needed to rebuild the greenhouse because I needed to have the shelves in the right position for my plants and for the copper radiator, which was to be situated at the bottom of the greenhouse. And the other thing I realized was the heat exchange system is most likely to be needed overnight when it's coldest and when my plants are more vulnerable to the frost. But it's dark overnight, there's no sun. So I knew that I couldn't power the heat exchange system directly from my solar panel, but I figured out that I could probably charge a USB power bank by the solar panel during the daytime and then power the heat exchange system overnight from the power bank. So that's what I set out to do. And I also decided to incorporate a thermostat into the system so that the whole system could automatically be activated when the temperature in the greenhouse dropped below a certain threshold. And all these new features will come out in the next video, part two of this series of videos, because there's a lot more to come and you'll find out if it actually worked. So please subscribe to be the first to watch that video, which is coming out very soon. And in the meantime, thanks for watching.